Email templates are helpful if you often send the same emails to your CRM contacts. We are going to create two email templates, a simple one that will be mainly plain text and an advanced template that will have a nice HTML design. Let's start with a simple one. Here we are in the template section in the CRM. So let's click on new template and select a module. In this case, we're going to choose deals, but you can create templates for any module you want. You won't be able to use a template created for one module on a different module. In this window, I normally recommend choosing insert HTML slash plain text. If you're just starting sending emails from the CRM and you want to make sure that your emails are landing in your contacts inbox, plain text is the best way to achieve this. This is the text editor. I'm going to quickly write the email and add a template name and subject. When you're sending an email from a template, the information can be personalized based on the record information. For that, we use merge fields. To insert the merge field, you can press the pound key. So let's add a merge field to the subject. I'm going to choose deal name. Now let's add a contact name right after hi. As you can see, we have many fields to choose from related to a deal. But in this case, we want to get the name from the contact. Here we have first name. On a side note, if you have integrated the CRM with a survey, you can send surveys from the CRM and the answers will be linked to the record from where the email was sent. You can use this button to add the survey link to the email template. All right, let's save this template. And we're going to pick the public email templates folder, but if you don't want to share the template, you can create your own folder. All right, that's it. We created our first email template. Now let's create an advanced template. This one is going to be for the leads module. In this window, you can see that there are many design templates already here. You could select one and edit it. But in my case, I prefer to use an external editor to generate a template and then import the HTML. I do this because I find it easier to make changes to the template than if I use the Zoho template builder. So we're going to click on insert HTML slash plain text. Here, we're going to click on this button to modify the HTML code. And now I'm going to switch windows to the email template editor I use. This is the one I like, but there are many out there. I already created an email template, so I just need to export the HTML. And copy it back in the CRM. We're going to replace this code with the one I just copied. And click on insert. Now we can add the merge fields. So it is going to be the lead first name. Something else to keep in mind is that if you're building a signature area, you can use the user merge fields, which will populate the information of the user that is using this email template. Now let's add a template name and subject. And save it. If we click on the template, we can see it. There are two ways to use email templates. One is by sending it manually, and the other one is by sending it using a workflow or automation. I'm going to show you how to use them manually, and in the next video, we're going to cover how to set it up in a workflow. To manually send an email using a template, you have to do it from the record. In this case, we're going to use the leads module. So open the record and click on send email. Now on insert template and select the template. You can edit the email if you need to, but the template won't be edited. The last thing I want to go over are the email template statistics. As you send emails using templates, either manually or automatically, you will be able to see statistics about opening ratio and clicks. This is helpful information to make sure your contacts are opening the emails you send them. Also, as you modify the templates, there will be different versions, so you will be able to compare statistics between versions.